Hi, welcome. Welcome to the Arts Council of Surrey Community Gallery here at the Newton Cultural Centre. My name is Wendy Mould and I'm here today to introduce you to the winners of the Just Bags Juried Art Show. The show is here until April 29th and you can see the show online at Arts by Web, sorry, at artscouncilofsurrey.ca or come in person by appointment. Now, let's go meet those winners. Our first honorable mention goes to Joanne Dennis with her picture, 100% Bag Country. I'll let Joanne tell you about her piece. Thank you to the Arts Council of Surrey for accepting my art piece into the Just Bags competition. <clears throat> this artwork is made up of bags for the image, the frame, the backing, and the hanger. 100% Bag Country is a concept fiber artwork that depicts a country setting with a bell tower that calls the local farmers together to join in celebration of the sun. What better way to represent the Just Bags exhibit with an artwork made 99.9% .9 out of bags? The thread holding it together is the remaining 0.1%. The artwork was made up of grocery bags, the ones that you purchase for a dollar when you've forgotten your plastic bags in the car. There is a bell tower that was already part of an image on one of the bags which made me think of orchards and farms and carries a message of celebration for a great harvest. The fence adds to the combination of patterns showing in the piece that are part of the country landscape. The frame was made from black bags and I used a stacking technique which involves cutting stacks of small rectangles, piling them together and sewing them in a way that pushes all the edges forward to create a three-dimensional frame. So I'd like to introduce you to Helmut Gunterad with his picture, Lady with a Bag. Can you tell us a bit about your picture and what inspired you? Okay, yes, this was taken in La Paz, Bolivia. Uh, it's the capital of Bolivia. And uh, actually what really intrigued me was the color and the contrast in the image. And uh, that was taken at 12,000 feet elevation. So there was a little bit of breathing issues. But other than that, I was very pleased with it and entered into this competition. Uh, I was quite happy to receive honorable mention. Well, very interesting. And I noticed too you didn't use glass on this picture. No, I like to keep my uh, photographs without the glass, especially for gallery exhibits. It, it just really, really, the glare eliminates the glare. And I spray it with a special coating, which gives it a flat image and I've been very successful with this technique. Well, it certainly looks very nice. Thank you again for sharing your ideas and congratulations on your award. Thank you very much. Well, this is Elaine Preston and her third place picture, Friends Forever. Elaine, would you like to tell us a bit about your picture and how you were inspired for the show? Sure. Um, I, uh, I got the idea from a photograph that I found online Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find the name of the photographer. Uh, it was a black and white photo. Uh, what caught my eye was the fact that um, it's two older ladies. Uh, and the Just Bags theme was a bit challenging for me. Uh, originally, this wasn't my first uh, painting that I did. Um, I wanted to be able to show that um, bags can get heavy. Uh, and certainly in this COVID time, um, carrying bags, uh, getting on and off the bus, um, what I think these two ladies would have encountered during their shopping trip um, is a real challenge right now. Um, and I wanted to do it in watercolor. Uh, what I like the best about watercolor, watercolor can paint itself if you let it. Uh, and so uh, I was happy to do this painting. Well, thank you very much, Elaine. I must admit, I like working in watercolor, so I was really pleased to see your work and, and to see how you handled it. And uh, I thought it was very clever, your, uh, your bags and your ladies. Thank you. And uh, congratulations.
congratulations again. Thanks a lot. Hi, so I'd like to introduce you to Maninder Carr and her picture, Just Bags. Maninder, could you tell us a little bit about what prompted your ideas for this picture? Yeah, sure. So uh, in this picture, I try to uh, tell people like different people have their uh, different bags. They carry different kind of bags. Like mom has different bag, teenagers have different bag, and uh, the beggars they are also have carrying different kind of bag because bags are very important part of our life. So I'm if I'm thinking about myself, I am not feeling complete without my bag. So bags are a very, very important part of everybody's life. So I showed here a little bit of giving idea that whenever we are traveling, how important bags are. Like if we are going to uh, country to country, city to cities, and uh, it's very, very important for us to carry our luggage with our uh, belongings so I found this theme is very very closer to my heart so I made this picture and uh, uh, talked to different people talk to family members what they are thinking about this theme and it this theme is itself is a complete so oh. that is very good. Well, thank you very much. That's really interesting. I, I never really thought about it, but once I see your pictures, I think, yes, people's bags do reflect their personality, don't they? And their needs, of course, but personality too. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Manager. And again, uh, congratulations on your award. Thank you. Thanks. I appreciate you recognize me, uh, Arts Council of Surrey. I really uh, feeling connected every time looking for these kind of competitions and motivating others. Thank you. Okay. Our first place brilliant winner is Melanie Thompson with her piece, Bags to Riches. Melanie couldn't be here for our interview, but she did send along her information about her picture to share with you. I made this dress in response to the plastic grocery bag usage I observed while shopping. I'm appalled to see how many bags are used by shoppers for produce, bags that hold two lemons, one head of lettuce, one bunch of celery, when no bag is really necessary. I used these bags occasionally and when I realized how many I had, I resolved to not use them anymore and to make an artwork from the ones I had. The bags were cut into strips and folded into black plastic mesh that was once our deer fencing. Many, many folded strips made up the skirt. The top was scraps flocked to the material that I embroidered over the following pattern already there. Thank you to all the winners for sharing your ideas and arts with us today. Once again, I congratulate you on your award. The Just Bags Jury Show can be seen here at the Newton Cultural Centre by appointment until April 29th or online at www.artscouncilofsurrey.ca. Artists taking part in this show are Melanie Thompson, Mandinder Carr, Elaine Preston, Joanne Dennis, Helmut Grunteroid, Monica Noodleman, Patty Holiday, Gary Ney, Helga Parenk, Lynn Verile, Ken Westrop, Juliana Lestkovska, Monica Noodleman, Gray Gregory. <laughs>